YouTube, it's Dr. Yash. We're in the shop. Uh, we're gonna be doing tires on this bike and fork seals on this bike. We're gonna go ahead and start with the front tire. And basically what I have to do is take this brake caliper off here, take this fender and the fork brace off, and I should be able to have everything off of there. There's one bolt that, hold, that runs through the middle for the front wheel. I'll take the rest of the stuff off because it'll help me get the forks out of it later on. And I have to take the speedometer cable out too. There's a set screw in there that I can't see. But we'll figure that out once the axle's out. We'll get started on that and here goes some fast forwarding. Like you've seen on the Civic video, make sure you hang this somewhere that's not, you know, I could probably leave it like that, but it's better that I didn't. There you go. Since this is a dual front disc, brake system. Uh, I gotta do the other side too. Now I'm gonna take the axle bolt out. all greasy that's good and the speedometer assembly came right out without any issues too just fell off I'll show you my favorite fit technique for airing down tires when you're tearing them down anyway because we're putting valve stems in it anyway so just you're gonna cut the old one off anyway. Now I gotta figure out how to break the speed down. So I'm gonna break down this bead and come back. I'm gonna go ahead and start working this. tire is in very bad condition. I think it's about 12 to 14 years old. Made of the purest Chinesium. Only the best. There we go. I forgot my tire irons have a uh, bead breaker built into them.
be able to peel it off. soapy water with me so I'm just going to use this uh, degreaser cleaner stuff here it's pretty slippery I've used Windex as a uh, bead loop before yeah that slid, slid right in there so that should be good pop my valve stem in with that if you're working on a tube tire these are pretty handy to keep you from losing the stem but it's just one of those little little universal valve stem tools you get at Walmart or wherever. I use it just about every day on mower tires. And make sure you have your your tire direction going the right way. Otherwise you'll be dismounting the tire and doing it over again. Because the wheel can only go in one way in my case. So it's use, front use only, and it has an arrow pointing forward. So we're going to put it on this way, because this is the side of the speedometer drive. This tire here is for the other bike we're going to be doing. It has a much more pronounced red circle. You see that point right there? You line that up with your valve stem, because that's probably... There's a seam in these tires where they put them together, because they're not circles when they make them. They're a sheet, and they... Uh, they form them together into a circle. So they set that up so you're you're opposite of the seam or, or whatever it is. But you line that up with the valve stem. You, you, it makes it a lot easier to balance. starts to get kind of tight you want to make sure that you got the bead down in the small of the wheel Don't start tearing the uh, cords and the bead over stretching it mount a tire with some uh, 
some levers. You, know, you just fill it up with air, pop the bead on there, and put it back on. For now, I'm going to start taking apart this these front forks to change the oil and the seals in them. Let's start by taking the fork brace off. side and the whole fork comes out. of the the almighty Honda service manual be cautious if there's any air pressure the fork cap can become a projectile so make sure you stick your face right over it right well first we have to get it loose before it can become a projectile best advice I can give you is to put a lot of pressure down on it while you're turning. And when you think you're getting close to the end, be careful. Oh, there's not a whole lot. It's definitely ATF in there. It stinks. Now what I'm going to do is pour out what comes out of here. It's supposed to be around 16 ounces in these forks, so I just want to compare and see how much we get out because I don't I'm gonna try not to totally disassemble the whole thing. I just need to change the oil and and the seals. I'm not actually rebuilding them. I think there's something other than oil in there. Probably water. That's nasty. So now I'm going to dig out the uh, snap ring that's in there. And these are not factory fork seals, so I'm not sure if I need to put the snap ring back because I know these are set up a little bit differently than the factory ones. They do that on purpose. Let me look at their instructions really quick. Alright, so I consulted their instructions and it shows the stack up of the, the seals. And you can see how that's kind of open on the bottom. That points down, then there's a backup washer, and then the dust boot that snaps in the top of the, the uh, fork seal, or the fork lower. And it does say to put the snap ring back in. And then there's supposed to be another washer that's already in the fork that I put on the bottom of there. So that's how that's going to work. I'm going to go ahead and peel this snap ring out of here.
There's no snap. There's like hardly any snap ring left for me to get a hold to. It's all rusted away. Wow. 